Hello there, Insomaniacs, and welcome back for more Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke with Conus Board. Wow, look at all that stuff. Anyway, today we're going to be carrying on with our adventure, once and for all. Hold it, something close. Okay, I evaluated my options, and it turns out that teaching um, Lombax Flamethrower is the smart move to do. Especially since Lombax seems to suck right now at fire-type moves. Okay, which moves should be forgotten? I'm gonna learn... I'm gonna get rid of Tackle. Tackle freaking sucks! Lombax, I right, use Tackle, and Lombax learn Flamethrower. Nice. Okay, now for real. Let's start the long and tedious journey of Diamond and Pearl surfing speed. Look at that surfing speed. If that doesn't annoy you, nothing will. Uh. Anyway, at... Wow, the background at night is really, really pretty. Yeah, the, the, the ocean background at night is really pretty. I'm, I'm just gonna... Uh, Grotus can actually gain some useful experience for, from these guys because um, Tentacool are poison type. And poison is weak to psychic. And it doesn't affect Grotus. Out, you poor guys. Kind of thing, I think Grotus completely sucks down um, Tentacools. They can barely do anything to it. Wow, one damage. Guess who's going in front? I expect this to want it KO, man. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, Grotus, Grotus, your offenses suck. Come on. Wow, it keeps using acid. It's an idiot. Yeah, the night background is really pretty for water battles. Look at that beautiful, beautiful indigo shade at the background. Nice, huh? Okay, anyway, in case you haven't realized, we have finally gained the power of Surf! And uh, we're on Route 218 right now. Okay, Grotus, you're going in front. You can gain a ton of... Not you... Okay. You can gain a ton of experience from these poor pathetic tentacles. Look at that serving speed, it's so annoying. It's so freaking annoying. You have no idea. Oh, oh, battle. A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon! Alright, I'll take your word for it. Here are a chance by Sailor Skylar. Sailor Skylar sent out Mantike. Ah, nice. Mantike. If this thing is water type, pre evolved form of Mantine. Uh. I am gonna switch to Ryoko because this thing should be weak to a grass type move. I hope it doesn't have Ice Beam. I don't think we're at the point of the game where trainers are smart. Nah, it's using agility. Okay, that still sucks. It, it raises its speed, right? Yeah. Okay, let's try... Magical Leaf. Magical Leaf. Oh, it's raising its speed again? Wow. The power of Mantike speed sharply rolls. Okay, I'm gonna hope I can one it KO it with Magical Leaf. Otherwise, I might have quite a bit of trouble with this thing. Nope. Okay. P please be stupid and use agility one more time. Nah, of course it's not that stupid. And still, these guys are dropped from difficulty from the Viego Ironworks trainers, which is, of course, very appreciated. Those guys were complete jerks. Uh, and I scored a critical hit now. Of Horse. Or freaking horse. Okay, Gyarados is next. Okay, Gyarados, I'm gonna have to send out White Lion for this. Even though White Lion is already horrendously over level G. Yeah, wow. Level 35. G. Now that's overpowered. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Intimidate. Shut you off. Oh, but of course it intimidates me too. Okay, now the wonderful part about Thunderbolt is, being a special attack, it isn't affected by Intimidate. Now, technically Thunderbolt is a much more powerful move than Spark, but a White Lion's special attack is not as high as its attack. But when somebody Intimidates me, I can just use Thunderbolt to finish them off because, unlike Intimidate, a special attack is not affected, so Thunderbolt is the better move. This is specifically to counter those annoying Staravias and Staraptors. Okay, White Lion grew level 36. Nice. Bye-bye, Sailor. Anchors away! You got what it takes to become a trainer among trainers. Okay, looks like we got a pretty mean guy over here. 
Okay, I'm gonna put... Yeah, I think I might put Ryoko for this guy. It's a guitarist, meaning electric type specialist. Let it rock! It's the rhythm of battle! I'm gonna guess the reason guitarists are electric type specialists is because they're, they're carrying electric guitars or whatever, but whatever, I, I'm just gonna guess that. Yeah, this is a really short route. Technically, after that short surfing segment, you're already at Canterley, but I'm gonna just get the rest of the road done today because... Because, um... Otherwise, I'll be in Canterley City in less than 5 minutes. Yeah. If I skip all the trainers, all the wild encounters, I'll be at Canterley very, very... Not Swagger! You troll! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm switching. Uh, Swagger is an annoying move. Basically what Swagger does is it raises your attack a lot and then it confuses you. So if you hit yourself in confusion, what? Are you serious? Oh fine, you wanna play it that way, huh? <laughs> you wanna drag out your big sister? Fine, I'll intimidate you then I'll get you a return. I was just gonna give Lombax some experience. Uh. Also, for the record, that Luxio should be a luxury by now. Why didn't you evolve it? Ah, uh, because trainers are idiots in Pokemon games. Gee, can you imagine if all of us humans were one day transported into the Pokemon universe? We'll all be overpowered ace trainers, my god. Can you hear it? That's my guitar weeping. I'm too torn up to sing anymore. I'm so cool that way. Yeah, like I believe ya. Okay, ooh, berries. Okay, raspberry. That's great. I hope there's some hidden item or something down there. Puzzleberry, okay, not bad. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Figgy berry. Uh, but for the record, I have no idea what these berries does. Oh wait a minute, I was at I, I was at Floroma earlier. I could have used some of these berries to buy accessories. Yeah, who cares about contests? Okay, let's surf some more. Okay, as I said in Platinum, your surf speed is uh double the speed it is now. Here it's just plain annoying. Are you serious? Another tentacle waiting to get wrecked. Oh, but this one's level 30. It might be worth a challenge at least. Okay, let's extra sensory the guy. Ah, uh, no, it's gonna go for Bubble Ream straight away. Gee, annoying little rascal. Okay, that did quite a bit. I am a teeny bit scared. Just a teeny bit, just a teeny bit. Oh, wow, it's gonna take three shots to die. Oh, that's just brilliant. Barrel! Okay, what this move does is it basically... Yeah, raises defense sharply. Too bad I'm using a special attack, you stupid tentacle! Okay, we're 8 minutes in the video. I, I guess I really can beat this whole route by the end of one video. That doesn't happen often. Normally it takes me like 1 to 2 videos to beat... Yeah, about 2 videos to beat a route. But this one I think I'm gonna beat it in one route. Because it's it. Yeah, route 218 is pretty short. Really short actually. Nice. Again, I love the background for water battles in uh in at night time. They're really sweet. Alright. Yeah yeah, nothing's fighting. Come on, I was right in front of you. You you mean I had to get on land to battle you? That's just cheap. Okay, five Pokemon. Magic Cup 2. Well, this will make for some Cannon for the experience. Oh, it actually knows Tackle. What a surprise. <sighs> You're a waste of my time, Magic Cup Trainer. Just why? We already battled a guy with six Magic Cups outside of. Uh, outside of Eterna. Was there an. Oh, Gyarados, I take it back. You do not have five Magic Cups. Ah, uh, white line. You are so overpowered now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is just... 
Uh, yeah, you get the message. White Lion is way over level compared to the rest of the team. Okay, let's uh, Thunderbolt because as I said, your Intimidate does nothing to my Thunderbolt. Uh, why, yeah, Luxray cannot learn Thunderbolt by level up, uh, so you have to tutor it via TM. I'm not too worried about using TMs like Thunderbolt and Flamethrower because you can actually buy them from the Veilstone game corner. So on the off chance that these guys do faint, I can actually in theory reuse these TMs. It's just the other TMs like uh, Grass Knot and whatever that you get from the gym leaders that you cannot reuse that just worries me. Alright, looks like Ryoko's gonna get the rest of the experience. Just sweep everything. Let me guess, the rest of your Pokemon are all Magikarp, am I wrong? I'm probably right. Uh, it's just such a waste of my time. Such a waste of my time. Uh, this is not worth it, this is just not worth it. Plus the, the, the background for night battles on land is actually not as sweet as in the water, so yeah. Please, you are a waste of power points, Magikarp. A very big waste of power points, might I add. Yeah, his, F, his last mon is a Magikarp. I can't use the plus 6 bro strategy like I did in the guy in Interna because these guys actually don't tackle so it's not worth it. And it could no flail too, you never know. A critical hit. And for the record, you could have evolved all 4 of your magic cards and give me a 5 Gyarados battle. That would be a lot more worth it, my friend. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's stuttering. When nothing's fighting, the smart thing to do is just call it a day. You betcha. Lombax is really low on experience points, so I'm, I'm just gonna put Lombax in front. Outdoor fishing for the win! Shouting doesn't help my fishing any, but shout I must! Yeah, so that Lombax can gain at least some experience points. I, I believe this is the last trainer. Oh, come on, it has to be a Gyarados. Ah, brilliant. Now White Land is really, really going to be overleveled compared to the rest of the team. No kidding. Forget it, I'm not gonna let White Lion hog all the experience points. Law Damien, go. Grab some experience for yourself. Damien's Intimidate cuts full Gyarados as that tag. Ooh, Twister. Too bad Twister sucks as a move. Okay, I'm going to start spamming Fly now. Huh. Fly has a chance of missing, but whatever. I can live with that. It's better than just spamming Thunderbolt. At least I gained some experience points for my other team members. Plus it also helps with slight EV grinding because Gyarados I think gives attack effort values but I might be wrong. Okay, you know Dragon Rage. You must die. <sighs> I did not expect it to know Dragon Rage. I really didn't. Uh, mm. Did you have to survive that one? Please, no dra- Ah, you are an idiot! <laughs> if it had used Dragon Rage, I would have lost Damien right there. You know what? Screw switching up. I'm just gonna- Every time a Gyarados shows up, I'm just going to have a White Lion show up now. It's, at least it's safe. <laughs> Okay, Damien grew to level 33. Nice. Take down. Ooh. Nah, not worth it. There's a better move with Recoil that I can learn one level after this. Another freaking Gyarados. Fine, fine, be my guest. I'll keep Damien in for the experience. Then I'm gonna switch him out right away for that for White Lion, and then you're gonna get wrecked beyond belief, my friend. Plus, White Lion can take two Dragon Rages if you just happen to choose to use Dragon Rage. G 
Gee, the trainers are becoming mean again. Dragon Rage Gyarados. I kind of didn't expect that coming. Yeah, it, it is spamming Dragon Rage. It knows. It knows. Okay, Thunderbolt. You're on my nerve. You're getting on my nerves. <sighs> there. We freaking go. Gyarados fainted. And we gain some experience point. White Line gains some experience point. And there we go. Fisherman beat. God, this is hurting. You bet here this is hurting. Alright, oh, my shouting is scaring away the Pokemon. Huh. No kidding. So, uh, I, I might just use Damien to heal back a little bit of his own HP because he has the Shell Bell, which means that if I get into wild battles, I can pretty much heal back my HP. Oh, that's for a honey. You cannot be serious. I thought it was gonna be some freaking good item. This just leads me back to the beginning. Oh, you. Ah! Uh, now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. I should have just been. I should have just gone to Canalave. I should have. Uh, la la. At least the surf team is pretty sweet. And, of course, wow encounter. Wingal! It occurred to me, I didn't actually catch the first wild encounter on <laughs> on this route. I, I kind of forgot to. Whatever, it was a tender coup, it wasn't worth it. Uh, you are not worth it either, Wingal. Aerials! I already caught one at Fiago Win. Fiago Windworks! It's barely Windworks. Fiago Ironworks is the, is, is the name. Gee. And that healed my HP. Uh, yeah, back to green. That's pretty sweet. And that does it. Once and for all. Oh, who are you? Bonus, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. That's right, I'm wondering who you are. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. Ooh. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see, so I've chosen this spot on a hunch that you'll pass through. Colonists might have your Pokedex for a moment. Let's see, was I supposed to put it in the software here? Kaklang, kaklang. Hold on, I've upgra upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? It can now display images of male and female Pokemon. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the professor. And may I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic? The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilife City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Uh, yeah. Oh, I sure am thirsty. <laughs> I wonder if I can give him a drink. There we go, Candlelight City. Pokemon Center is up here. There, nice. All right, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. Eh, <sighs> phew, this was tiring. Not gonna lie. Thank you for waiting. We started Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. If you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke, do feel free to leave a like or subscribe to Instamania Game to keep up with the Instamania. Do be an anti bottom fighter and check out my channel. And next time we're gonna explore Candlelave City.